Four years ago, Hurricane Sandy laid waste to the East Coast, destroying more than 200,000 homes and inflicting $50 billion in damage. But while Sandy devastated many waterfront areas in New York City, nearby Governor's Island survived unscathed, thanks to a storm-resistant design. Ariel Duem-Ross visited the architect to find out how he protected the island. The heart of the park is a Lika Terrace that is a uh, this is Adrian Hoese, a landscape architect from the Netherlands. In 2007, he began redesigning the southern half of Governor's Island, a former military base turned public park just south of Manhattan in New York Harbor. As a Dutch architect, Adrian has spent his whole life thinking about rising water. I'm from a family where both my dad and my grandfather were civil engineers, also working on dikes. Much of the Netherlands is below sea level. And for more than a thousand years, his ancestors developed dikes, dams, and canals to keep it at bay. I'm born below sea level, so for me, this is in my DNA. I see the world differently because I'm from the Netherlands, uh, culturally obsessed with sea level. New York City planners realized that they also needed to adapt to this reality. Enter Herze. When we, we came here the first time, we saw the island uh, flat as a pancake, not more than three and a half feet above sea level. So I thought, would you build a park here? The park will be lost in the first storm, in consideration that uh, the sea can be uh, peaceful as today, but also be very violent. To help the island withstand this potential violence, he proposed a novel idea. Build a series of rolling hills on its southern tip. Not only do the hills offer great views of the New York skyline, by elevating the island nearly 15 feet, they protect it against future storm surges. Well, the most simple low-tech solution for climate change, if you live on the shore, is that you elevate the land. When we started working on this uh, island, we introduced the idea, well, we have to uh, ship debris and recycle the buildings mm -hmm. into new hills for establishing uh, a park that it will overcome every storm. On October 29, 2012, Adrian's design was put to the test. Hurricane Sandy caused billions of dollars of damage to New York City's coastline. But the hills the Husa designed to protect Governor's Island did their job. The harbor was confronted with the evacuation, and then a lot of equipment was positioned on our new-shaped island. So it was very clear that climate-related engineering of the park was the right approach. According to Adrian, his Governor's Island design is one small solution to a much larger problem. What is your reaction when you look at the Manhattan shoreline and see that there are buildings very close to the shoreline and that it's not elevated? The American coast is very vulnerable for flooding in the future. Most of civilization is on the shore and the world is facing tremendous problems due to climate change. So we have to re-engineer civilization 